welcome it is she has to be she boutique again back with another video this is another video in our how to engage your learners series and this is episode three on how you can create work searches for your classroom let's get into it are you fighting for your students' attention in the classroom but they're bored as all get out because you're not engaging them? Do you find that your students are always trying to skip your class? Don't worry, we've all been there, me included. Or are you that teacher that tells your students that they're going to learn regardless of whether they like it or not? You're always telling them that they better be quiet and there's no talking. And are your students scared of you? Are you that teacher? Are your students excited to learn? If you're one of those teachers who are struggling to find out what's the formula to engage your students, guess what? I've got it for you, so stay tuned. Okay, starting off, we're gonna go to this website. It's called The Teacher's Corner. So the way that you put that in your browser is www.theteacherscorner.net. Did you hear me? You did it? Okay, well, I'll say it again. It's www.theteacherscorner.net. Okay, once on the website, click on printable worksheets, and we're going to go to word searches. Okay, word search maker. We're going to create a title for our word search, and for today's tutorial, we're going to title it Engage Your Learners, because that's the activity that we're working on today, students. And next, we're going to add some instructions because students always need instructions, whether we think it's self-explanatory or not. I'll give some instructions. So for the directions, we're going to say that it is used a uh, buzzword. We're going to use buzzwords taught in the session to answer the word search. So we're going to come up with some common buzzwords that we use in the teacher community in order to engage our students, okay? So no surprises. Now I'm not saying you need to do a word search in order to get your students to critically think. This could be an activity as a filler for that student that finishes early. So the words we're gonna put where it says enter words, the high, we're gonna put engage, learners, students, teacher, differentiated, instruction of course. Classroom, yes, common word. Management, because you gotta have classroom management, right? Excited, because that's what we want our students to be in our classroom. All right, now scroll down and rows. How many rows do you want in your word search? You can come up with whatever number you want from 10 to 50. How many columns? I chose 25, grid style. I chose a diamond shape, so you can get a little creative with it. So you can choose whether you want your word search to go backwards and forwards, whether you want your words to go diagonal, A through Z. You can get as creative as you want to get. So that's just to add a little pizzazz. You can even um, hide your word list if you want to make your word search a little bit more let's say difficult and then at the bottom you can change your font of your word search now let's generate our word search let's see how it looks so as you see here i have my diamond shape now this is the place um, in the toolbar where you can actually print your word search you can create a PDF, save it to your desktop. If you're one of those teachers who like to use worksheets for more than one year, you can definitely save this. So as you see here, I clicked on print puzzle. I click cancel because I don't really need to print. I'm just showing you how to do it. Save as PDF, create an image or you can create a PDF there. And this is an important one, bad word filter. Because you know some word searches have bad words. Find bad words and it double checks to make sure that the generator doesn't have any bad words in there. You don't want kids going home and telling their parents that you gave them some work that had naughty words. So definitely filter out bad words just to be on the safe side. 
So click on answer key and it shows you where all of the words are. Once again, you can either print that or you can save it to your computer for a later date. And that's basically how we create a word search. Real simple. Guess what you guys, you've made it to the end and you are so awesome. Gold star for all of you guys. Go ahead and pat yourselves on the back. And if you're interested in finding any jewelry and accessory that's really trendy that you can wear with your work clothes, by all means, go to my website, She Has To Be Chic. Um, the link is posted below and as always, like, share, and subscribe.